What's up guys, it's time to talk about the official Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 series. These are hands down one of the most awaited and the most important Android phones of the year. Their past two generations of Redmi Note series phones have consistently made into the global shipment sales list. A list that doesn't contain any Android flagship, but you do see these amazing budget smartphones representing Android. So they are back with a flagship 2021 smartphone approach at a pretty crazy price. This whole series consists of Redmi Note 10, Redmi Note 10, Pro, Redmi Note S, and a Redmi Note 10 5G phone. One of the big criticisms of last year's Redmi Note 9 series was a use of LCD display. This time they went AMOLED for all models. Literally every single Redmi Note 10 series phone is rocking an AMOLED screen. But of course the golden boy out of all of them is the Redmi Note 10 Pro that's gonna represent Xiaomi on a very big stage. It starts at just $279 which is an absolutely crazy starting price point. All the way up to $329 for the max out model if you're gonna go for the 8GB plus 128 gigabyte of storage. So as I've said, the display is the biggest increment. We have a 6.67 inch, 120 hertz, HDR10, full HD plus AMOLED screen. 1200 nits of brightness, which puts this phone around the same realm as the iPhone 12. That's not all, it's rocking a Gorilla Glass 5 screen for a very good protection. Now the design is mainly the same, but we have a big difference when it comes to the punch hole. So Xiaomi has slid slimmed it down a lot compared to last year's Redmi Note 9 Pro. It's also rocking a frosted glass on the back. We still get the headphone jack. The fingerprint scanner is now coming with the power button, so you have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. Still going to be pretty snappy, but since it's not under the screen, that probably has helped them reduce the price to where they have announced. Speaking of reducing the price, Xiaomi has gone with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732 chip with Adreno 618 GPU. It's an 8 nanometer chip, not the best mid-range chip out there, but once again when you come back to the price it's a pretty good deal and just like last year's model it's rocking a 5000 plus milliamp hour battery 33 watt fast charging usual stuff that most mid-range phones are packing these days but one thing that separates this phone from most mid-range phones that we have seen before is the camera xiaomi is using samsung's flagship grade 108 megapixel isocell hm2 sensor it's a pretty big sensor and Xiaomi actually put it next to Samsung's flagship phones from last two years. During their official launch event, it has that same kind of pixel binning technology. As for the other sensors, they are pretty much what we have already seen. We have a 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 5 megapixel tele macro lens that also assists in zoom and can help with the macro images as well. And then a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now the main 108 megapixel Samsung sensor does exactly what it says on paper. GSM Marina has shared some daylight shots as well as some night mode images Images. and uh, I have to say the quality of the image, the colors, the sharpness, the detail, all of that is insanely good considering the $279 starting price point of this phone. Once again, they have indeed raised the bar as far as the main camera lens is concerned, but for the rest of the sensors, like I said, they're pretty much the same as previous mid-range phones. The 5 megapixel macro lens is capable of producing good images only if we have the good lighting. Then we all know the reputation and the memes regarding the 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's not perfect, of course, but it's doing its job. But when paired with that 108 megapixel Samsung HM2 sensor, you can see it is getting some good detail once again considering that $279 starting price. Other than all of this there are some things that are usually missing in a mid-range phone but this phone is apparently packing all of them so we have a stereo speaker system. They've also improved the vibration motor. It's also coming with a UFS 2.2 storage. All in all I think Redmi Note 10 Pro will indeed become one of the best selling smartphone in the Android game once again considering all the value it's packing. Now if this price is still out of your range they do have the Redmi Note Note 10 and the Note 10 S. Both of those phones are packing similar stuff as the Redmi Note 10 Pro, but the display doesn't have higher refresh rate. You don't get the 108 megapixel camera instead. There's a 64 megapixel lens on the Redmi Note 10 S and a 48 megapixel lens on the Redmi Note 10. Also, you get a less powerful CPU, Snapdragon 678. Just overall, a massive successful launch. The hype has been delivered, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Of course, Samsung is cooking their own mid-range devices to challenge these phones. Stay tuned for that upcoming video. But once again, Galaxy Buds Pro giveaway is live on the channel. Link is in the description. With that being said, catch you guys later. Peace out.